Officials in our coastal communities have been warning about the risk of further damage this storm could cause in areas already devastated by Hurricane Ian. Yeah, like many areas, neighborhoods in Volusia County have storm debris piled up along curbs still. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is in New Smyrna Beach with what the city is doing to get it cleaned up in time. A spokesperson for the city of New Smyrna Beach tells me they want as much debris picked up ahead of the storm as possible to make sure it's not a problem with heavy winds. It can pick up a two by four or a branch that may be on your curbside and send that shooting right through a window, right uh, through a car that you may have nearby. Uh, it can be very dangerous. Which is why Philip Vesky, the public information officer for the city of New Smyrna Beach, is warning residents ahead of Nicole. If you can clear your curb, please do. Uh, and just like as with before Ian, we asked residents, hey, uh, to the maximum extent possible, try to refrain from doing a lot of yard work, trimming branches, cutting down trees, uh, because that will, again, add to the debris threat. We met Vesky at this local debris drop-off site off of Industrial Park Avenue. To date, we've collected over 106,000 cubic yards of storm debris. Which Vesky says is equivalent to about 106,000 washing machines all stacked on top of each other. This site is open seven days a week for people to come drop off items damaged from the storm and vegetative waste like tree branches. Vesky says they've had crews working around the clock since Hurricane Ian hit, but says there's still a lot of debris to pick up. Because what we've observed is that a truck will come to a house, clear out all the debris, and then as the truck is pulling away, residents will begin bringing more debris out of the house. Vesky also tells me they've opened up a sandbag distribution site over at the sports complex football stadium, and he says they've also notified residents that live both on the water and inland that have seen flooding before to be prepared ahead of Nicole. For now, in Volusia County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results, News 6.